Did you add more to the poem? I, I, I made an attempt. You Let's hear, hear it. it? Yeah, hear start it? from the beginning so we know that. Right, right, the lead in. Yeah. Uh, hummingbird, hummingbird. It, it was actually, oh, I didn't want to correct oh, Kathy it, Lee, it but oh, it's, oh, it? hummingbird, hummingbird no, outside thy window. I knew that. I was doing Kathy's okay, version good. of it. Right. Okay. Uh, hummingbird, hummingbird outside my, thy, thy, yeah, thy window. <clears throat> you make me wonder where you and the wind go. I don't have a good line, but I'm glad to be on your show. That's good. Oh, that's that's good. Um, <laughs> oh, do you want to you want to work on? Well, it just kind of ends it. it. We were supposed to continue oh, oh, it oh, on. Oh, oh, it's a. I'm going to ask Earth, Wind, and Fire to write it because sure, I, I sure. feel like they could write it in a second. And then. They're good with the lyrics, yeah, and I then they perform it at the end of the show as an entire song. We dance with that? They've got 10 minutes. They can, can do that. Can do that. They churn out hits. like They've sold over 40 million records. They can do true? that. There's, it's easy. Cool. Piece of cake. Now, let's talk about how popular you are overnight. All of a sudden, people know who you are. That must feel incredible. It's very strange, yeah. I, uh, you have these sort of random interactions with people. I was at a party, and uh, a woman in her uh, uh, 40s came up to me and said, you know, I never do this, but I want to introduce you to your biggest fan. And I kind of assumed that she would turn and it would be like the 13-year-old girl who can't quite kind of look you in the eyes, that kind of a thing. She turns around and it's her mother. <laughs> and she's in her 60s-ish. Absolutely the sweetest woman you've ever seen in your life. A petite, little, timid, six-year-old woman. And she's utterly petrified of me. <laughs> And I, I don't know what to do. And so I said, you know, you want a picture, autograph, something? So just, sure. Uh, so I go up to her and I put my arm around her and, and she starts shaking. And then uh, the picture snaps and she starts crying, <laughs> bawling. And I, I don't know what to do. I have yeah. I've never experienced this before. So, uh, so I just sort of shake her hand and give her a hug and walk away as fast as I can. I, uh. <laughs> Yeah, you're brand new. You'd, you'd, uh, in a few years, you'll sleep with that so, woman. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. You'll get good at this. Yeah, that's... Okay. It was her way of hitting on you. If you could, if you could jot down a few notes yeah, for me, yeah. that would be great. That's amazing. So I'm thinking you have all these, and you've got, like, women of all ages coming after you, getting... Pe she's, she's... From six to six. And crying. Were you stepping on her foot or something that you I, didn't I, know about? I think so. That's, yeah, yeah. Wow. Now, and, and you're being compared. You are the it guy. You're like all over the place on the cover of uh, TV Guide and YM, or is it pronounced Yum? Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> and the the Russell Crowe comparison. Have you had that before the show, or when it, when did this start? This uh, is something that I think the uh, the people in the the good folks in the media and the American media picked uh -huh. up on. Uh, I have never really experienced it before, but. Uh, it's definitely very amusing. It couldn't be more different from Russell. No offense to Russell, he's a fantastic actor, but I'm a yeah. southern kid from You're from Texas, Austin. From Austin, Texas. Which is a great city. Yeah. And uh, I just, I have nothing in common with the guy, but I think it's, it's, uh, it's wonderful to be compared to an actor of that, uh, yeah. that merit, that, that kind of a talented guy, so. Because now, really, a year ago, you know, you were a telemarketer. Uh, yeah, right? yeah, uh, yeah. Not in a good way. A year no, ago, I was, we hated you. Yeah, exactly. And now... <laughs> no, no, no. I wasn't. I wasn't. I wasn't a, a bad telemarketer. I was uh, sort of a telemarketing position, selling subscriptions to a theater, Mark Taper Forum, out here in L.A. It's a good theater. So uh -huh. I wasn't trying to hawk you bad life insurance or some sort yeah. of terrible thing. Right. Um, I was, uh, and I was waiting tables in New York City. Actually, is what I was doing a year ago. And, uh, so, so you then, moved from Austin to New York? Uh, yeah, I went to the University of Virginia for mm -hmm. uh, school. Uh, got a degree in foreign affairs and economics, oh. which I'm clearly using sure. a lot of. Uh, <laughs> and uh, moved to New York after graduation, just sort of uh, on a whim. Uh, I had done some theater in college, and I said, I don't want a real job, so I might as well uh, go and try acting. So I moved there, and um, oh, hey. Uh, <laughs> and uh, started the acting, and then came out to LA on a whim as well. Packed two suitcases, and. Figure I'd be back in a week. I met with two people and slept on uh, a buddy's floor. And a year later, I was still there. And then I got the job, the OC. So. Wow. And and how did you find out that you you went and auditioned? Yeah. And. Uh... I found out uh, driving along the highway, as we all are always in Southern California, um, with a buddy of mine on, in on my way to work, 
and uh, driving my 1986 Cadillac DeVille with 228,000 miles on it and no AC that I bought for 500 bucks. And uh, my agent calls me on the cell phone and uh, says something to me, but I can't quite, of course, the cell phone reception cuts out it's that way. And uh, I finally understand that I get the job. So I scream for about three minutes, and uh, my buddy grabs the wheel to drive. I drop him off at work, say bye, and head <laughs> off and never go back again, basically. Wow, you really do just left the job? Was that well, the telemarketer I, job? Or? Yeah, that was the selling subscriptions, yeah. exactly. Yeah, yeah, I figured, um, wow. you know. And now you're on this show that, that it could not be hotter. It is like everybody, around here, the office is talking about it. Yeah. Uh, are you all watching the show? <laughs> are you all Congratulations, Thank that's you. really great. Appreciate and uh, the OC is on every Wednesday night at 9 o'clock on Fox. And our uh, house band, Earth, Wind, and Fire, will perform when we come back. Thank you so much for Thank being you. here, Benjamin. And thanks for the performance.